Hey guys, welcome back to Will You Accept This Vlog? And what an episode this was. I'm so shook. We have, I have no words. I know, we have so much to break down. So we figured this week we were bring in a little help. We have another producer at Kesa who is also a big, big fan of the Bachelor franchise. And so she is joining us today. So let's Yay. bring her. All right, so we have Gabby here with us. Thanks for joining us. We're very Yay. excited. I'm so excited. So excited. It's like so, a bachelor party. Yeah, it is a bachelor party. Um, let's jump right in because we have so much to talk about. Oh my god. <laughs> so the episode starts out, and I, I was surprised about how quickly things started happening. Um, I thought they were like drag it out, but like immediately Chris Harrison just goes to her and is like, We gotta talk. <laughs> I'm glad he did it like that. Just bring it on. Like, let's do yeah. it. I feel like the whole season, or oh, what it's what we've seen um, so far, it's been dragging a lot. So for this episode to be okay, let's let's get it done. I feel like it was it, it it needed to be done. Yeah, I do feel like it's still dragged on. Like we didn't get to Taisha until like the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I predicted that was going to happen last week when we talked, Joy, I was like, yes. it's going to end with before Taisha meets the guys. So. You called it. You called it. We yeah. saw her for like 20 seconds, I think. Yeah. She looked stunning, but we'll get to that later. Yes. Um, so I, I do feel like um, there's been a lot of rumors about her being uh, pushed out, like forced out of the show. Yes. She's been liking comments that suggest that on Twitter. Um, and I do feel like when the f episode first started, I was like, I kind of, I'm kind of getting that vibe because Chris Harrison literally said, we can't continue like this. Yeah. yeah. So I, I had a lot of thoughts about this because I've all, just like you have read a lot of articles and seen a lot of things about that theory, but he, he asked her a lot of questions straight up was like, Hey, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? What do you, how do you want this to end? And he left a lot of it up to her. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, ultimately she picked the person that she said she was in love with. So I don't, yeah. he could have at any point said, Oh, well, you know, I want to stick it out with some of these other guys, but yeah, I do think that, uh, well, um, first of all, I was, whenever Chris Herson cursed, he was like BS, like twice, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> he never curses. I was like, you know stuff's real whenever Chris Harrison starts dropping some curse words there. <laughs> but I do feel like, I just, I, I think she might feel like they forced her out because I think had Chris Harrison not had that chat with her and be like, hey, we need to do something here. I think she probably would have tried faking it a little bit longer. Yeah. I think she would have done a rose ceremony. I think she would have kept trying. Um, but at some point the show had to be like, listen, like we gotta. Well, I think like, it's what you said. At some point, the faking had to stop because it was, I think Chris did like a very, you know, it was the appropriate time to do it because if she would have gone farther and farther during the show, it would have been like annoying. I was already annoyed because I, the, the guys were like, they they are not dumb is how right. chris harrison said like they're not dumb they know what's going on so there had to be a point where you know claire had to be honest with herself and with the guys yeah well and i do i do like that chris harrison um asked her straight up like did you guys talk before the show i will say the fact that she said i swear on my dad's grave makes me feel like she she can't be lying, right? You don't swear on your dad's grave unless you're that was intense. I yeah. was really surprised that she said that. And yeah. we'll get to the teaser for the next episode coming up or when when they oh my talk all about it. Because yeah. I was like, wait a minute, this is very strange. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of moments though that in this episode that alluded to the fact that that they spoke before and yeah. It was clearly something that the other guys had talked about amongst each other because mm -hmm. it was clear that something was not right. Something was very off and they all felt that. She did mention that she, she prior to the show, she was, you know, looking at him on social media and stuff, which is fine. But in my opinion, it's like, it's already like, if you're infatuated on a person already before everything started, like the first thing you're going to do when you start this process is just 
you know, being still infatuated in their person. So for me, it was already game over when the show started, like the whole thing. Yeah, I do think, um, so I was surprised she admitted to that. And I think that just showed a lot about, because I just feel like if she, she, she was looking at his stuff and she was creating this image of him in her mind that he was like, oh my God, we have so much in common. This guy's great, blah, 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 blah. And then when she saw him, it's almost like all those ideas that she had created in her mind came true. And so he was like, all right, we're ready. Let's go. Um, So I think that in itself is already at a disadvantage because it doesn't say, I mean, she doesn't even say if she creeped on all the, on other guys and maybe created connections with anyone else. It just seems like she, from before she even met him, she was fixated on Dale. Yeah. And um, I, I don't, I don't even know if that's, is that better or worse than them talking? You know, I don't. I think it's worse because she's created something in her mind that that she she, she basically willed it to happen, you know. And um, I so so can we talk about for a second? So we pull pulled into the side date. He doesn't really know what's going on. Yeah. And uh, and she basically pulls him aside to have this really intense conversation. And what did we all think about that? Because I I was kind of thrown off by all this. I want to say worried about them because I just feel like, again, Claire just created this expectation of what he was in her mind. And I don't know if Dale can live up to that forever. Definitely. I I totally agree with that. And then they kept comparing things to their parents. And then her mom, her, her dad, like they both hitchhiked or something in some way to meet each other. And it was just, it was very strange. It just did not seem like a normal conversation. And then she just throws out the fact that she's in love with him. And um, I was nervous too, because yes, we know Dale was, uh, is into Claire, but I didn't know if he was actually ready to propose. That was like a big thing. I was like, I don't know. What's going on? <laughs> well, and in that day, in that date, she was like, I need to know, I need to let him know how I feel or whatever. And I will say I, it made me very happy just to see her so happy. Like she literally could not stop smiling. She was like yeah. the whole time, she was just like, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I, I I felt I it felt weird because I feel like Dale wasn't matching that at first. He was kind of like mm, taking okay. it all in, you know. They, they, but I, I I was glad to see this conversation, the dinner conversation they had play out. Because uh, I feel like this is the first time all season that we've actually seen them talk and get real and open up and share feelings and actually make a connection. Because to this point, they've just made out the whole time. Because this is really the only time they've talked, that we've seen them communicate, and had an actual like one-on-one conversation. And then, so they have this heart-to-heart, then they go dance. I think it was the cutest part of the whole episode was watching Chris and Brie sing. I, I freaking love them. I'm so I, glad they were back. They're amazing. That was amazing. And they're literally, uh, to me, I think they're up there with like Sean and uh, Catherine. Catherine. Yeah. I think they're up there with them to me. Like, I think they're wonderful. Uh, so that was so cute. Yeah. Um, and her red dress was amazing. Oh Just my God. Her red throwing dress that out there. I will yeah. say going back to the story about Claire, uh, Claire's parents. Hearing the story about how they met and how like he, he her dad met his her mom once and was <laughs> like three weeks after or whatever. I was like, oh, uh, okay, now I get it. Like now it all makes sense now. Also, I want to point out that her parents' names are James and Lily, aka Harry Potter's parents. <laughs> I, was like, I thought the same thing about uh, about the the parents like getting married like a month after they I don't know how much time it was I don't remember but like very soon after they met it's like okay now I can see more on like why where like how Claire thinks because for me there was like it, it's all very rushed but at the same time it's like okay. With all the past and all her history and his parents' history, I know now that you know how everything makes sense in her in her head. <laughs> you know, I actually kind of feel a little bad for her that she's I don't know that she I I hope 
that he lives up to all of her expectations because she has sure made him out to be be this superstar and man i just hope <laughs> you better know he can't let it down now because it's just wow so then after the, the the date they go to claire's room and they spend the night together which i'm like dang it's week four and we're already in fantasy suites mm -hmm. But I feel like at that point, I feel like at that point, like she was already okay. I'm just like, you know, there's. Well, in last episode, she actually said when they were like making out in their in her room for like an hour uh, yeah. during the group date, she said something at towards the end. She was like, uh, like she she said that she basically wanted it to happen at that point. Mm -hmm. She yeah. wanted to go all the way, and but then of course they were on a date with like ten other guys, so they couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I couldn't. So, and yeah, I mean, the show at least made it seem like they definitely did, and I, I, I think they did. But. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> so then they show us Claire talking to the guys. She seems pretty calm when she enters the room. Um, the guys are all like, "What's going on?" Um, I do think these guys are amazing because their reaction was just like. Yeah. You guys are like out of this world. Yeah. Yeah. I would have been very, very, very upset, especially yeah. because this is not a normal season. This is a season where they had to quarantine. They had to do all this stuff for her. Just for her to like, okay, no, bye. I met my husband. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. it was crazy to me because some, and some of the guys obviously took it better than others. Um, but it was just wild to kind of see them kind of like unfold this in their mind. They, they obviously knew it was coming. They knew that that day that she and Dale were going to run off and live happily ever after in the sunset together. I mean, yeah. but, but man. <laughs> well, and I do like, uh, um, so I think, yeah, the guys have had a pretty good reaction. Most of them were like, um, you know, like, oh, I'm really, really happy for you. This kind of sucks. But like, we're, we're, you know, we're happy that you found love or whatever. But I do like that Kenny actually st uh, stood up to her and called her out. You know, uh, he was like, I feel like you was an apology. And I, I thought she was just going to like go at him at that point, you know, mm -hmm. uh, blow up on him. But <laughs> no. Um, she, she was just like, well, what do you think I need an, oh, you an apology for? And he's like, well, you wasted our time. And I do think she owes him some kind of apology because she didn't give him a chance at all. Like they, they she, yeah. even like in last week, you know, she didn't even talk to them. She just wanted to talk to about Dale the whole time. So I do think she owes him an apology for that because I mean, that was like, I don't know. I agree but, with you, Oriana, and I feel like she was trying to say, I'm not going to apologize for love. Nobody's telling you, like, nobody's saying that you should apologize for love. We're saying, like, they're literally saying, because I do feel like she didn't give them a chance at all, okay. at all. Like, no. from day one, she was already, like, her mind, I feel like she was already, her mind was already there. Mm -hmm. And... And all the, even, I don't know if you guys noticed, but even in the dates that she went to, she wasn't there. I feel like she was like in a different <laughs> world, you know? She wasn't paying attention of the com on the conversations that she was having with anybody, anybody. And I feel like it wasn't, it wasn't fair for the guys at all. It was almost like a non-season, honestly, because mm -hmm. it, it was like, even, even on the, when they then when they roasted Dale, it, it was like that was a weird date. Then the other date, she like ran off with Dale for like an hour. I mean, it was just very odd the way everything like just kind of played out this season. But with some of the guys, I thought it was funny. They were like, I, we didn't even when um, when Claire came in to tell them all that she was leaving with Dale and all that stuff. Some of the guys were like, we didn't even have anything nice to say. We didn't really have anything like good to say is we just kept our mouth shut which is also respectful on their part too i get it they they don't want to be they don't want to come across as yeah as um being overpowering in that moment but man i do i do want to talk about that because uh you know it's been it, it was four episodes of claire that's mm -hmm. like almost half a season really um so 
and, and this whole time we've known that she was going to quit. Like this was not a secret that we were all, oh no, we all knew. So we were just waiting for that. So do we feel like it was a waste of time? Do we think they should have just done like one episode with Claire and goodbye? Like, do, do you, did you appreciate the four episodes? Like kind of like explain what happened? What do you think? No, I think they, they could have cut it down to like two episodes, maybe one episode kind of getting all into it. But I mean, we all basically knew what was going to happen and I'm sure they did it for like drama, drama sake or whatever. But do we remember on Caitlin and Sean's season, they like cut that season short, didn't they? Because the guys already knew that Caitlin was in love with Sean. And so they cut that season like short, I thought, or they did it like condensed to where each episode was. I think right. I think yes. I know that she spoiled it accidentally when they posted a video of her and Sean together at the end. But some of the guy, like I thought, I thought it was that they had cut it down short. Anyway, the moral of the story is that I um thought it was just crazy the way they let it play out this time, as far as how much they let us see. I definitely think, and we also saw more of the producers and stuff. Mm-hmm. I do yeah, feel yeah. I do feel like it would have been better just to have one episode, but I also feel like this four episodes helped to get to know the guys mm-hmm. for yeah. Um, Asia, yeah. season, you know? Yeah, I do think, um, I think it was also like, okay, so I think maybe we would have liked to have just one episode or whatever. But from a show perspective, they wanted to drag it out because we watched, didn't we? You know, we, we did, didn't stop yeah. watching. We, we No, we were all like, <laughs> we're going to keep watching until you tell us what it is. So they could have made this six episodes and we would have watched them all to know what happened. So mm-hmm. I think, you know, from a ratings perspective, like I get what they did it. I do think because they wanted us to know the guys too and kind of understand like, cause I feel like I mean, we're already confused about how she fell in love with him this quickly, but have we not seen the four episodes that we did so far, we would be even more confused, right? Yeah. We would have been like, what yeah. happened? So I think I, I get it. I don't know. I, I just, I see it both ways, I guess. It's yeah. crazy. So do, okay. So he proposes to her shockingly like, proposes. Hold on. So first of all, Chris Harrison's like, or she's like, what's next? And he's like, a proposal. And I was like, <laughs> Wait a minute. I honestly didn't didn't expect a proposal. I thought they were going to, you know, be boyfriend and girlfriend and leave. And, you know, that's it. Just leave the show together, right? Yeah. Neil's Neil's lane face whenever uh, whenever Chris Harrison calls him is literally the story of my life. He was like, oh, that fast? (laughs) That was so great. I I love that so much. Yeah. So uh, I, I... I do feel bad for Dale because man, what pressure, right? He's like, I mean, I, I like this girl. Like I, I like her a lot, but like propose, you know, he was kind of like, it, it's, it was literally 12 days. Like the news of her quitting the show came out 12 days after they started filming 12 days. And he popped the question, you know, that's nuts. That is nuts. I honestly didn't think that he was going to do it, to be totally honest. I thought they were just going to leave the show together. But And Chris Harrison, when he came back, so he walks her down, like Chris Harrison and her walk down, and then Chris Harrison leaves, and he comes back, and he's like, oh, I just wanted to talk to you about something. And then he leaves again, and I was like, wait, okay. That was trash, by the way. That was totally them being like, ooh, how can we create drama at this yes. moment? Let's send in Chris Harrison. You know? It was so obvious that they just wanted to make, you know, create some drama or anticipation for the viewers. <laughs> it was so dumb because, like, I feel like, I don't know. I, I mean, for a slight second, I was like, shoot, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't come and he doesn't propose. But then I remember like hearing about them still being together to this day. And I was like, no, he's going to do it. Like, you know? Yeah. Wow. No. I uh, also I cannot believe they exchanged I love you. Because literally the night before they were like, oh, we're, I'm falling in love with you. And then like, he's like, oh, I love you, Claire. I'm like, well. I think there's two factors there. I think one of them is that they didn't want to be as, you know, honest, I guess, because it it was too soon and they were just trying to figure out how they felt for each other. 
And but there's also the second factor that they spend the night together. So when you spend the night together, like there's more more feelings start to um, pop True. up. And you know, like at that point, it's like okay, we <laughs> think we were falling in love with each other. We spend the night. You know, this is it. This is basically the the end of this my Claire season. So what's you know they just you know that's the only thing left for them to do yeah. just propose and say i love you because it would have been weird if they didn't say i love you and he proposed to her it would it would have oh, been like right uh, but they haven't said i love you to each other so <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is kind of where we get to the point where joy you brought this up earlier they say some things that make you kind of question whether they did talk or not because she literally or they both literally say we saw this coming a long time ago. Yes. Yeah. I wrote that down in my notes too. I was like, what? Yeah, I was like, I thought you guys met like on <laughs> No, yeah. it's very fishy and it doesn't make very much sense because uh, one, we all know that that typical relationships don't blossom that way. That's just, just not the way it works. Um, <laughs> but of course, in Bachelor world, anything is possible, and uh, Claire is no exception to this, so. Well, and I do think, um, he and the things he said maybe kind of want to go, like, what is happening? Because uh, he, she was like, I knew it, and he was like, I accepted it. And then she's like, yeah. remember, he said that. <laughs> he said that, and I was like, what, what? You accepted it. <laughs> yes. You accepted it. You accepted your to be with you know I, I don't know. That's that's weird. Weird. that was weird for me too i was like twice yeah i don't know what i don't know what that means i mean yeah i was very confused by that comment very yeah. confused so do we think they stay together yes, i mean that's the real well, question they did a live together on instagram last night and they were very yeah. much he was drunk by the way uh, from I haven't seen it, but I was, you know, reading people's comments about it, and apparently he was wasted, which was really funny, and that apparently there's some really awkward moments, um, but they're still together, it seems. So I don't know how strong they are, but yeah. together. Well, there's, well, I don't know, but there's rumors going around, but it, they're just rumors that they'll just, you know, dating other people too. So. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know. There's some rumors out there that I read today. I read this morning, but again, they're just like text messages and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Can you imagine if after oh, all of man. this, Claire is single again? Oh, that's so, oh, that means <laughs> that would make me so sad for her, you know, regardless of all that has happened and what regardless of whether or not we think she made the right choice or did the right thing like we all love this show because we love love and we want to see people be happy and be together and um man whew. I do want to say I, I I am very happy for them I do hope this works out uh yeah they seemed very happy together after the engagement and stuff and even in the after the credit during the credits clip yeah. hooking mm -hmm. together that was cute. very happy and so I'm, I'm very honest and honestly I feel like this whole season I've been very critical of Claire I I, I feel like I'm a little less critical of her now um I think that she I don't know I just like I feel better about her after watching this episode even though I still like I, she still made some questionable decisions but I do feel like I kind of understand her more and her decisions after watching this episode well I don't <laughs> go ahead I for me it's like I just I, I don't I mean I'm happy for them and I really wish it works out but I just I'm not a very big fan of her like this season I was like I, I wasn't very excited when they announced her as the bachelorette but I was like okay I'm gonna give her a chance but then like this whole season I was like no like why like <laughs> everything she said everything how she acted i was like i don't i, I you know i i don't like her sorry <laughs> no, I, I don't necessarily like i don't like love her i don't think she was a great bachelorette or anything like that no. i just think i understand maybe i i just un, i feel like i understand her as a person mm -hmm. and understand 
how she came to these decisions. You know what I mean? I don't think that I would have done that. I just think I understand why she did. It. Yeah, I think on a, uh, I, I agree with you, Gabby, in some ways. I think that um, it was, that I was more excited. I, I was disappointed mm -hmm. in what she had to offer as a bachelorette. I think that um, my, I had wanted her to to succeed a lot, especially after Juan Pablo's season and all the chances that she's had and all that stuff. Um, I think that that she disrespected the guys a lot. Um, I think that she could have, could have definitely handled some situations way differently. Um, I also think, and this, and obviously we don't know her personally, but uh, I think that that she might have some emotional issues that she might need to work through too on her own. There were, there were some like instability that I, that it felt like, obviously we, we only saw snippets and it was edited the way that, that the producer of the show wanted us to see. But um, I hope that, I hope that for her own sake that she can kind of work through, work through everything. And I do hope that if Dale is her person, as she says, I hope that it all works out for them. And also she goes like she goes by, you know, with made, she always has this excuse of like, I'm doing what is best for me. I'm doing, you know, I'm I, I, I'm doing what um, I feel is right. But at the same time, like you can do that, but still respect the process. And she said, I respect the process. She said that multiple times. Which is not true because you could be, you could make your own decisions and be you, but at the same time, respect the process. Like, you know, there's so, so many things that don't go, like didn't go as, you know, normally bachelor or bachelorette goes. And I understand that not every season can be the same, but at the same time, like there's some steps that you have to follow <laughs> that yeah. she didn't follow at all i don't think she followed like none <laughs> yeah she kind of made her up made her up made up her own rules as she went <laughs> she really told dale like i've been doing she she said that so yeah. um, okay let's forget about them now because they're yeah. fast well yeah. apparently next week we see them again yeah <laughs> Um, so what do you think? So Chris Harrison comes to the guys and he's like, by the way, Claire and Dale are engaged. They left the show together or whatever. And the guys are all like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like wild. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, Jason's like, how much time do we have before we have to make a decision about what we want to do? Cause Chris Harrison, like we're going to continue the process with you guys. You're not going anywhere. And Chris Harrison says tonight, you have less than 24 hours to make a decision. Mm. Like what? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, especially for uh, people like for for the guys that were more involved in a relationship with Claire. Like I would have left because, you know, like why would you want to start a new process with a new season, basically with the new Bachelorette just the day after you literally broke up with, you know, the person you thought it was going to go very good. That's that right. My next that question: rough, then. Were you sure. surprised that none of the guys left? I I was, I I I was thinking that maybe like two or three were gonna leave, but I mean, for sure Jason was gonna leave. Yeah, I thought Jason would leave, and I thought I thought I honestly thought Blake would leave. Which I want to talk about Blake for a little bit because he took this whole thing horribly. At first, it was like there's no way she's gonna be with Dale. They just he doesn't make. It sense like there's no way and I'm like oh boy you're so clueless I feel so bad for you and then there's one point where I just feel like we've talked about how much we like Blake so far this season and there was a point where he said uh that he actually bought a book about Alzheimer's and dementia and he read it because he wanted to be able to relate and understand what Claire was going through and I was oh. like oh my god this top shelf you know yeah. wow Especially like invested, because, super invested. Yeah, especially because how like what we learn at the first episode that they talked before the show started. Yeah. So Claire and him start talking on Instagram or I don't know. I think it was Instagram 
um, before the whole thing started. So like, I feel like for him started a little bit earlier than the actual season. So I do believe like, I, I was like, I was shocked to for like, I was shocked when, when I saw him enter the room and he decided to stay because yeah. You know, especially because of the book thing that he brought up that he said he bought and whatever. I was like, this guy is very, was very invested. So, okay. So, yeah. So, so none of the guys leave. I do think that once they start talking to Tasha, I think some of them might be like, okay, mm -hmm. there's not the same here. I, I think that specifically, I think Jason won't last, to be honest, because I don't think he's going to be able to mm -hmm. open up to a second person that quickly. And I can't blame him. That's, I, I yeah. wouldn't either. Yeah, and uh, I think Blake might throw the towel too at some point. Um, I'm glad that they're giving themselves a shot. I think that's cool that they're like, you know, okay, let's let's try at least, you know. Um, also, I just want to. I'm really curious. How do they bring Tasha in so quickly? It's I mean, at least the way they're showing it to us. It's like Claire gets engaged one day, and they Tasha's there in the next. Yeah, I'm like does so she have to quarantine? I, I don't. Well, I don't understand that. I think for sure they probably. I think that as soon after night one, I think when they kind of thought thought and saw everything that was happening with Claire and Dale, when she made that initial comment that was like, oh, my goodness, I think I just met my husband or whatever. I think and this is just me in my producer brain, right, that they might have already said, OK, what if this girl mm -hmm. like bails out very soon? I think they wanted to, like, get something quick knows they, they might not have had Tasha quarantine as long they might not have well um, and it may be one of those things where she was already kind of self-quarantining at home anyway right yeah. kind of trusted that maybe tested her once or twice and they were like right. all right just take the risk I don't I hope we get some kind of answer to that uh, maybe in like post-show interviews um well, oh, okay, but conspiracy theory time what if they knew from the beginning that this was going to be great <laughs> saying that um because yeah. if that's the case then Tasha could have been quarantined the whole time she could have been there the whole time yeah 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 and but who knows also she looks stunning I mean wow I love Amazing. her like I've I've loved her for a while and like I was so excited <laughs> when I learned that she was going to be the bachelorette I was like yes please <laughs> give her a chance because she i feel like she's very real she's very down to earth and she's like an amazing girl and she's beautiful so yeah i think she, i think she'll be an incredible bachelorette because mm -hmm. she's crap from any i don't think i think she knows what she wants too just like claire although i think yeah. she's a little less aggressive in getting it <laughs> um, but I, I think she's gonna be amazing i do think um i'm worried that since it's gonna be cut short for her i don't know if she'll be like get a proposal at the end of this because i feel like it's gonna be too quick mm -hmm. but you never know and also she doesn't need a proposal as long as she's got a boyfriend after right like it's true yeah. an engagement yeah. um, I feel like, and how the previews like show like the previews show like a lot of like drama with her and the, the guys like not being and I get it. I, I mean, they have to do that, but I don't know. I feel like it's a little it, it, it's a little bit misleading. And I think like she'll find some connection, very strong connections there. Definitely. My prediction too is because um, Chris in the, in the preview for next week, it shows Chris Harrison saying everything's about to change or whatever. Yeah. And I'm ninety nine percent sure it's because they have managed to bring in new guys. I think they're oh. gonna. And yes. people who went home early, or maybe some of the guys who were like in there to potentially be in the show, but then cut, cut right before. I think there's gonna be new guys coming in. Yeah, me. I think the guys that we're gonna they're they're gonna bring are the guys who um they were cast before they knew Claire was gonna be the Bachelorette, mm -hmm. and they they kind of said no, now you're not you know coming to the show because you're too young. Um, so I think those are the guys they're gonna bring. Well, whenever they announced like they were finally gonna start filming Claire season and they announced the potential guys there was like 40 guys in there and only 30 of them actually made it 
into night one. So there was like a, a batch there that they could be like, all right, come come back. <laughs> yeah. Bring back Yusuf, no. <laughs> no, they can't do that. They won't do that. There's no way. Yeah. Okay, so more conspiracy time. What it, so Hannah Ann was seen in during filming their yeah. rotation and all that stuff. So what are our thoughts that maybe this is going to be like a Bachelor in Paradise thing? No, um, I think uh, there's been a lot of them because there was her. I think Ashley was there at one point. Becca Kufrin was there. I think Rachel was there. So uh, I believe they're just hosting dates. It's what I believe they're doing. Interesting. Yeah. And I saw uh, um, Wells Instagram um, last night um, and in his story, he was saying, oh, next episode, I'll be there. Yeah, so I'm. I'm pretty sure they're like doing some like fun stuff for the dates. I'm well, so excited. I love him. Me too. Uh, I love him. Wells is also current because right now they're filming The Bachelor, right? Like the, in this exact moment, they're filming yeah. The Bachelor, and uh, Wells is at the spot where they're filming The Bachelor. He's been pretty vocal about that. Uh, I think he's gonna be some kind of bartender or some some presence or something <laughs> in the in The Bachelor too. So. Yeah, I love it. I love him. Yeah, love it. I love him too. <laughs> so I, I mean, I'm I'm very excited about Tasha. I I I, I think she'll just gonna be do, do great. Uh, I'm really hopeful. I, I, there's some guys there I like for her. I like Bennett for her a lot. Yes. I think he's love a love Bennett. Love I Bennett. Bennett. I love Bennett. Yeah, from the start. Like yeah. He's... And uh, I, I I still love Ivan. I think Ivan, and, and they keep showing him, like he's not saying yeah. anything, but he's, the camera keeps showing him. And I'm like, hmm. And I think he might he might go far with Tasha, And then I will see who else uh, comes in that could, you know, could potentially win, go Win her over. I love um, what Bennett said about, after Claire left and everything, he said he was like excited because he said he never had a chance to really get to know Claire or experience anything um, any moments with her. And so, I mean, I, I told you Ariana last week, I said, he's the dark horse. It's gonna, it's gonna really, I, do, I don't think they're going to end up together. I do think he's going to go very far and I think we're going to love him. He could potentially be a bachelor contestant or he'll end up in paradise and be a fan favorite for sure. Yes. Which I would be for either of those. Yeah. He needs, he needs a chance. <laughs> 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 he, he, I love him. I how love old him. is he? He's like 39, right? I think he's right around that age with Claire. Yeah. yeah. He's like 30, 36 in that mark. So anything else? I mean, wow. it was crazy, but. Wow. What a I great like episode. It was, I'm, I do feel like there was nothing really new there. The only thing I was not really expecting from what all the rumors were was the fact that they got engaged. I didn't think that was going to happen. That was the only surprising thing from this episode for me. I think everything else was we expected it, right? Yeah. I think so. I am really excited for their tell all next week. Oh my God, uh, yeah. But who knows? They're gonna say they're gonna say whatever, right? But I really want to know because Chris Harrison is gonna straight up ask them, "Did there are these rumors? Did y'all talk?" Yeah, and his quote is, "Did you lie to all of Bachelor Nation?" Woo! Drop the mic. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm super excited for um, the tell, and I'm super excited for Tisha's. Uh, season I'm just like I can't wait apparently there's 10 weeks left of episode that's what yeah. I keep hearing 10 weeks so that's plenty of time and yeah that's a lot I mean we could do this in 12 days I mean <laughs> yeah. that will carry us through like Christmas I think and then uh and then the bachelor starts the first week of January the first Monday of January like January uh four nuts that's Which is crazy. also going to be very interesting. <laughs> this is the first time in a long time we've had a bachelor that hasn't come from a season before. And so we really don't know much about him. So I think it'll be a very interesting season too. Yeah, I'm excited. I think it's going to be great. For all of it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's do it. I just hope the guys give Tasha a chance. I hope that she has like a legitimate shot to... Find, also find her person mm -hmm. like Claire did I just hope 
that it that she's set up for success as far as that goes. I hope that I agree. I, agree. I think the guys are good though. I think she has a. I think there's a good chance that she yeah. might come out of this with the love of her life, which we all hope for her. I know. I hope so. All right. Well, Gabby, thank you for joining us. This was Yay. fun. It was super fun. Thank you for inviting me. We'll probably bring you back for the finale for sure. Yes. We'll need to, um, whatever happens, I'm sure we'll need to break it down. So. I know. I'm so excited. excited. All right. Well, thank you guys for accepting this vlog again. Uh, we'll see you next week for, I guess, Tasha's oh, season yeah. of The Bachelorette, which is still season 16. We'll start it all over again. Yeah. I called it 17. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, see you next week. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. Yay. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye.